and welcome to my channel. This is Jay from Coding with Jaybird, where I upload weekly tutorials to help build your confidence in coding. Today you're going to learn a little bit about headings and paragraph tags. Let's dive in. So I'm going to create a folder on my desktop for this new project and we'll call it headings and paragraph tags. And let's go ahead and open this in VS Code. Now I can just drag this into VS Code or you can go to File and then Open Folder. All right, so here in this Headings folder or this Heading and Paragraph folder, let's go ahead and create our first index.html file. And this is where we're gonna write our code for today. As we know, the first thing that we do when we start our HTML file is start with our doc type. So doc type, declaration, HTML. And then we want to have our opening and closing HTML tags. Now inside these, we want to start with an opening and closing head tag. And this is where like the metadata for our HTML file will go. And then we'll have an opening and closing body tag, inside which we're going to have the information that will be displayed on our browser window. Now let's start with our metadata. And we'll have our character set equal to UTF-8. And then let's have a title. So we'll have an opening and closing tag, which is the title of our document. And we'll call this headings and paragraph tags. Now there are a few extensions that I wanna add to VS Code before I get started today. So let's open up this file explorer icon on the left. And on the bottom left, you'll see extensions. So let's click on that. And there we're gonna search for some new extensions. So the first one I wanna look for is base 16 tomorrow and we want to get the second one down on the list so let's click the install button for that and now the next extension that i'd like to search for is material icon theme and we're going to get the first one that shows up here we'll click install and lastly let's download the live server so we'll get this first extension here and again we'll install that and what I want to do next is I want to go into this code at the top in our menu, Preferences, Settings. And here we're going to look for Word Wrap. And we can see by default it's set to off. So let's click this and change this to on. And then let's go into this code icon again, Preferences. And this time we'll select Color Theme. And let's change our color theme to Base 16 Tomorrow Dark. And you can see the color of our HTML document text has changed. And lastly, I want to change the icon. So let's see how that would look. Let's open up this Explorer window and we can see the icon looks like this for an HTML file. And once again, we're going to go to Code, Preferences. And this time we'll go to File Icon Theme. And let's select Material Icon Theme. And you can see it's changed to HTML5. Perfect. All right, so let's start coding in our index.html file. So the first thing I want to talk about today is headings. Now HTML has six levels of headings starting from H1 all the way down to H6. Now H1 is used for main headings and it's displayed in the browser with the largest font size by default. So let's go ahead and create our H1 in the body. And it looks like this. So we simply have an opening tag with H1 inside of it and a closing tag with H1. And within this opening and closing tag, we're gonna write our actual heading one, so our main heading. So we'll say my main heading is level one. And then let's click on this go live button, and this is going to run our live server. Now my live server is set to Chrome as its default browser. And here you can see our H1 tag, my main heading is level one. That looks great. Now let's create an H2 tag. Now H2 is typically used for subheadings. So you'd likely have many H2 tags in a page. So let's call this an H2 heading tag. Looks like this. And when I save it, we're gonna see that the browser updates on its own. And that's because of this live server extension. An H2 heading tag looks like this. All right, so we've got our first two headings. And you can see the second one's a little smaller than our first. So let's go ahead and create a few more. So we'll have our H3, level three heading. And let's create an H4, level 
four heading and an h5 level five heading and when I save this we'll see we've got three more headings that we've added and each one's getting smaller as we go along now our last one is an h6 so level six heading and this will be our smallest heading h3 headings all the way down to h6 headings are used for subheadings that are less important than h2 headings it's best practice to follow these headings in their correct order and not to use these heading tags to achieve a certain font size in the browser so if you're looking to get like a really small font like let's say this one don't use an h6 just to get that small font size we're going to be learning about css styling in future weeks and at that point, I'll show you how you can change the font size with the use of CSS style sheets. Now that we've talked about heading tags, let's move on to paragraph tags. Paragraph tags are used to display paragraphs in the browser. One paragraph is created between an opening P tag and a closing P tag. So when you use a new paragraph tag or P tag, you'll notice that it begins on a new line. So let's practice this. So I'll start by having an opening P tag like so. And then I've got a closing P tag. Now within these opening and closing P tags, I'm going to write my paragraph. This is what a paragraph looks like when displayed in the browser. Now notice our text wrapped around and that's because we had set our word wrap to on back in our settings at the beginning of this tutorial. So when I save this, we'll see our paragraph show up on the right. This is our first paragraph. I'm going to use something new in the next paragraph called lorem ipsum. This is used as placeholder text when designing a web page. Now developers use this to help map out where and how much content should be placed on a given part of a web page. There are many free lorem ipsum generators that are available online and can be found by a simple Google search. However, I love VS Code because it comes built in with a feature called Emmet that generates lorem ipsum rather easily. All right, so let's start by creating a new opening and closing P tag. So within this paragraph tag, I'm going to write lorem, L-O-R-E-M, 50 and hit tab. And what this will do is it'll create this gibberish or this lorem ipsum that's going to represent approximately 50 words. And when I save it, you'll see on the right that we've created a new paragraph. And you can see the line spacing between one paragraph and the next. So let's practice this a few more times. Let's create another paragraph tag, and this time I'll say lorem 20, tab. And when I save it, we'll see we've got a paragraph with about 20 words in it. And our last paragraph, let's try lorem 100, tab. And we've got a really large paragraph with approximately 100 words in it. That's it for today's video on headings and paragraph tags. Um, this is just the beginning of HTML and CSS. There's so much more to learn. I hope you're enjoying this series and following along so far. If you are, please hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date with new videos as they come out every week. Until next week, keep on coding.